I'm Danny Powell. I'm out here on I-40 eastbound under Triple X Road. Now this project has four bridge overpasses identical to this one. The existing bridges are four span bridges with columns set on spread footings. Now one of the things we'll have to do is verify the depth of those spread footings to make sure that we have enough clearance for our proposed pavement thickness. Now as you can see, the distance between these columns is pretty tight to try and fit three 12-foot lanes with full width shoulders. What we can do is use concrete barrier wall with crash protection to fit three 12-foot lanes and narrow shoulders. Another issue is the vertical clearance. It is posted at 16 foot 3 and measures 16 foot 6. Now this is in line with the minimum 16 foot set by Ashto. However, we could lower the profile of the interstate to accommodate a 16 foot 9 vertical clearance. Another issue we will have is during temporary construction sequencing. During construction sequencing, we will have to fit four 12 foot lanes through these columns. In order to do that, we will use concrete barrier and we will only end up with four 11 foot 9 inch lanes and no shy distance. Hi, I'm Travis Collins and behind me are the I-40 over Peebley Road bridges. These twin bridges were built in the 60s. They're three span continuous concrete slab spans with 38 foot clear roadway. Clearly, we'd have to either widen or replace these bridges to accommodate six lanes of traffic on I-40. We have developed a construction sequence on a board there at the interview, which displays an option for bridge re replacement. We wanted to be sure there was a bridge construction option that would allow two lanes of traffic in each direction without building any excess unused bridge in the final configuration. I will be happy to discuss the construction sequence at the end of the presentation. Now you can see these same bridges from the side, viewing them from Peebley Road. The bridges are in very good condition given their age, however, they have exceeded three quarters of their expected life. We recommend removing the, bridge, the bridges and replacing them with a single three-span steel beam integral bridge. We recommend steel to decrease the necessary raising grade at I-40, to increase the vertical clearance of Peebley Road, and to provide a more easily repaired bridge should the bridge ever be struck by Peebley Road traffic. The bridge would be square and short enough to be an integral bridge. The final product would be an easily maintained interstate bridge wide enough to accommodate six lanes of traffic. I'm Don Still standing on the eastbound I-40. Our understanding of this project is to widen uh, the interstate and reconstruct the lanes to three lanes in each direction. As you can see here with these cracks, uh, the existing pavement is in poor condition. Uh, these shoulders are also in poor condition. There was a dow bar retrofit, as you can see here, done as well to, to prolong the pavement life. The center median throughout most of this project is, is 40 feet wide from edge of lane to edge of lane. You can also see the cable, cable barrier has been installed to prevent crossover traffic accidents. With the 40 foot median width and a widening just to the inside, does not leave enough room for a full width inside shoulder. It leaves about seven to eight feet approximately for the shoulder. And that's been done throughout the state and other projects and it is definitely an option here. One of the other options is, is also to get a full width inside shoulder and full width outside shoulder. We need to widen to the outside. That would probably put us approximately about right here. It's about five feet. And you can see it creates another problem with these steep slopes. The slopes here are approximately three to one. We anticipate widening this out to six to one to clear zone and then steepen the slopes all while maintaining within the existing right-of-way which creates some issues as you can see here. <laughs> 